On September 13, 1996, Tupac Shakur died from injuries sustained six days prior when he was shot four times in a targeted drive-by shooting in Las Vegas. On the night of September 7, 1996, Tupac attended a Mike Tyson fight at the MGM Grand on the Las Vegas Strip. He was accompanied by Marion Suge Knight, the head of Death Row Records, as well as some other associates. A brawl had occurred in the MGM Grand between Tupac and Orlando Anderson, a member of a rival gang. Tupac punched and knocked Anderson to the ground, and the entourage joined in before the fight was broken up. Following the brawl, Tupac and Suge drove to the Luxor Hotel to change into stage clothing for a charity show at Club 662, owned by Knight. Suge and Tupac drove in Knight's black BMW sedan from the Luxor to Club 662. While driving along East Harmon Avenue, they stopped at a light just before Las Vegas Boulevard. Next to the car was a 29-year-old UCLA film school student named Leonard Jefferson. Jefferson looked over and saw Tupac. They shared a few words, and then Jefferson snapped this photo of Tupac. It would be the last photo of Tupac alive. The BMW drove off, turned right onto Las Vegas Boulevard, and then turned right onto East Flamingo Road. Coming to a stop at the intersection of East Flamingo and Koval Lane, at 11.15 p.m., a white four-door late model Cadillac pulled up to Knight's right side. The shooter, seated at the back of the Cadillac, rolled down the window and rapidly fired gunshots from a 40 caliber S and W Glock 22 at Shakur. Knight pulled a U-turn and headed back toward the Las Vegas Strip. Speeding and with flat tires, he was pulled over at the intersection of East Harmon and Las Vegas Boulevard by the police, who then called in emergency services. Tupac died six days later, on the afternoon of Friday, September 13, 1996. He died of respiratory failure that led to cardiac arrest after the removal of his right lung. Tupac Shakur was only 25 years old.